previously on Daily Bread. You and Vern's gone south on me. She just goes off in the woods by herself for hours. Yeah. We're not doing this anymore. What I do? I have to go back. I forgot my guns. I thought you looked different, like you lost weight or something. About 10 pounds at that church, yes. Okay, so we don't have much to unload, so I can head back with you. No, no, there's a lot of work to be done and you have your gun, so you should stay. Okay, well, at least have uh, Molly or Avery head back with you. All right, fine. fine. Hey, guys, I forgot my guns at the church. Bill says I need company. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to unload the truck. However, Maybe you should go. <laughs> nah, make him beg. As I recall, it was you crawling all over the floor, not him. I'm trying to put some distance between us. <laughs> what was I thinking? Avery, I need to get back into town. Phil says I need a babysitter. All right, what's the hourly rate? We can barter. All right, I'm gonna need you to spill the beans about this new boy. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why not? Not happening. No, what? No. A little heart to heart. No. Good. <laughs> I see him, Vern. He's out wandering again. She's in focus. We got things to do around here. I didn't want to say anything, but she has been slapping. Go get her, boy. Her place is here. She's not wandering where those traps are set, uh, is she? Don't, don't say it. Now, now I gotta go check on her. Well, if you're gonna go, you better take your bear trap map. Sorry I'm late. Want some? Yeah. You know, for post-apocalyptic chickens, they certainly eat well. You know what some people would give around the world for this bread? Oh, it would go still if we didn't feed it to them. Besides, chickens give us eggs. That's good barter. Enjoy. Nora, Avery, you're back so soon. Oh. What a pleasure. Yes, I forgot my gun in a church, and I suppose Pastor Robbie has already left. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to keep it locked up, too, even when we're here. They're roving gangs. They keep trying to steal from us. That's all right. We'll just wait for him. OK, you sure? Yes. Good to see you. Thank Good you. Good to see You know, the last time we were here, the day Skylar flaked on us, I was mocking the statue, and I think she heard, because she's in a better position than we are. I still like her guns better. 
And we got trucks with their horses, so we're still ahead of the survival game. Yeah, at least our shoes and our clothes are more practical. How does she do it? <sighs> Molly Marie in flats. Never thought I'd see the day. And now I have nothing to tease her about. Okay, just stay close. We got company at 3 o'clock. Just don't look. Both guns. I guess we're gonna have to do this by hand. Okay, um, what do you mean by hand? hand? Stay tight. Girls! Eric Alex. Hey, girls! Why are you going so fast, huh? Girls! Are you sure it's not a... Hey! Leave him alone. We don't want any trouble. <laughs> oh, no trouble. <laughs> no trouble. Oh, he don't want it. <laughs> we do. Huh? That's what we are. Trouble? Huh? Unless we get what we want. Glad to see you all made it. Who are you? Let's just say I don't obsess over spoons anymore. Skylar? Is that you? Oh my gosh. We were wondering whether you made it out. They don't know me as Skylar. They call me Madam Butterfly. It must be those mushrooms that I picked today. I swear I keep seeing Skylar. <laughs> Hi, Avery. It's good what? to see you, too. Clean this up, confiscate, and pound and restrain. Okay. Thank you, madam, for your assistance. You two know each other? Shop poor, eat rich. rich. Or survive at any cost at this point. Not many eating rich these days. Except these gangs. They've been taking over towns. We need to make a plan. Skylar, you should come back to the farm with us. Everyone will be so glad to see you, and especially Sandy. She's been so worried that you crashed with your plane. Hey, Drew, I'll be gone for a couple. If I'm not back by watch hour, you know what to do. Okay. Okay, who are they? It's taking them way too long to get in and out. What do you want to do? You know what I want to do. I'll get my gun. Yeah.
Where have you been? You know the rules, Nora. Phil, we have a good excuse. Oh, it's a really good story. Phil, this is Skylar. Skylar, this is Phil. Skylar. Oh, the one who, you know, the one who did so good on the show that everyone's Sir. talking about. How you doing? Sir. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Hi, Mom. You're alive. It's good to see you, too. What? Where, where have you been? I can't wait to see the look on everybody else's face. Can I just, like, take you with me? I'm going to take you around. That's where did you find her? It's in the tomb. She's definitely not the same as you remember her, but that is her. This is so crazy. I'll just explain it on the way to the house. Okay, so there's a story behind this, right? Oh, yes. Hey guys, look who I found. What in the world is, oh my gosh, Skylar! This is Skylar? Hi, it's good to see you again. She looks normal to me. <laughs> Skylar, this is Danny. He's my, my- uh... Boyfriend. It's good to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Skylar? Oh my gosh, Tiffany, Skylar's here! What? She's just like a half daughter. She did, and she was. Yeah. Imagine our surprise fighting a common enemy and learning mid kick that it was you. Wait, you guys got into a fight? It was awesome. Oh my gosh. Skylar, tell us what is going on out there. So, the bottom line is it's all broken down between the two groups the survivors and thrivers. There's those who take and those who give. What do you mean, in Pioneer City? We're all over. We've been watching groups come and go. When we get the upper hand, we interrogate. They all describe the same dynamics. The strong take advantage of the weak, and the weak either get tough or it's not pretty. It's gotta be getting better though, right? I mean, is there even a government anymore? Who's in charge? When you say we interrogate, who is we? Since you girls changed the dynamics in town, we decided to run with it and set our standard at zero tolerance. Well, how many of you are there? And how have you been getting your food? 200 mini fridges of nothing but junk food. There's about a dozen of us. We have let some go, but no more in. Well, why don't you just come and stay here with us? I mean, we all have plenty of food here. We don't have plenty. Maybe enough. And it sounds a lot better than what you've been doing. It sounds tempting, but I have obligations. Too many are counting on me. And to be honest, the ones that did survive, they still need a lot of work. I don't think they would make it if I left. What are you doing for security? There's a lot of potential weapons lying around. You just have to think outside the box. I went back in history and came forward. We confiscated a lot of motorbikes that we could trade for more modern gear. I like the sound of that. And we can definitely play. We can take some of our trucks back in exchange for motorcycles. How many can you spare? What do you have to trade? Okay. Oh. So I need a special little treat. Oh, did you know? Move your feet, please. Get that off the table. That's gross. Should we just pass it? Yes, okay. we all want a chance to have your pemmican bars. You do realize the world has fallen apart, right? Yeah. We try not to think about it, and um, Tiffany helps. Yep. This is our compromise. Mm -hmm. That's a long story. Now tell me again about those motorcycles. Oh, wow. Now that's what I call a barter. Yeah. You got bikes, we got guns. Great. Let's talk business. This is great. This will help supplement our security. Do you have any bows? We're trying to be stealth. Well, we just gave the last one we had to Tiffany. She refused to carry, but we had to keep her safe. She's a natural. Got all bulls last first time out. And we just found out that Tiffany was on the archery team in college. So. What? Yeah. Tiffany? That is a surprise. Oh, like you knowing martial arts? Well, 
We all worked side by side and we never really talked. Yeah, like how to survive the apocalypse. Nicole even made pink arrows for her. I knew someone was missing. Where is she? One of our guys, Link, has, uh, he's moving back into town, so she's helping him pack. And don't be surprised if she leaves with him. <laughs> oh, are they a thing? They're like two parts of the same brain. It's really cute. Cute like Sandy and Danny. Sandy and Danny. Oh, lots of changes around here, even in wardrobe. Oh, yes, that's the story <laughs> to top. Oh Wait till you see my designer golf tees. Skylar, what else are we supposed to know? Is there any way we could keep communication open? We've had a lot of infrastructure issues. Out of control fires, sewage seeping into the water supply, no doctors, no medicine. It's another reason we don't allow anyone else into the sanctuary. Well, that's the hotel. So you're like the Quasimodo. No, she is Madam Butterfly. All right, look, since Link is heading back and maybe even Nicole, We've got eyes on the ground. All right, now, Nora, you're right. We need to set up some type of communication system, even a set time to meet every week. Uh, I heard someone had a ham radio around here. Do you happen to have one? Well, Mr. Buchanan had some friends who used to do it, but getting in touch without the radio, without proper communications gear, it's nearly impossible. OK, we'll get Link on it. Uh, maybe some local high school. Wait, don't they need a license? Maybe if we go to the courthouse, there must be records. Yeah. Yeah. We'll look into it. Pastor Robbie is kind of like the mayor, and I guess I'm the sheriff. We could both use some help. The jail is getting full. What do you do with all of them? How long do you keep them? Just long enough to get info, which they usually give in exchange for a good meal. OK. What are you hearing? We've heard of whole cities being wiped out if they resist. But they keep some alive, and they make them their slaves. They brand them with a tattoo. The ones that we lock up are usually thankful. You can tell the leaders. That sounds so tribal, like ancient history or something. Maybe they'll get their own quilt. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That was a poor attempt at levity. <clears throat> Keep going. Look, Skylar, it's getting late. Why don't you stay the night? Yeah. It's tempting, but if I'm not back by a certain time, they'll come looking for me, and they wouldn't know where to start. Phil, you should give her a ride. Yeah. It's been great to see all of you, though, again. Hey, stop. Can you stop to make all those bikes again? Sure, yeah, we can do What are we going to do? going on? Where? They found Vern in the woods. Where is she now? She's dead. What a... What happened? I'm going to ring the bell. We gotta have a meeting. Please tell me what happened. I... Look, focus. Your job is to ring the bell. Now go on. Found Vern. In the woods. She's dead. It was one of those bear traps, wasn't it? No, Mama. She was killed with this. What? When I find out who did this, heads are gonna roll. It's gonna be an eye for an eye. Frontier justice. Who else in the camp shoots besides Jerry? Could it have been one of ours? I haven't exactly fitted everyone that's been new. You think someone shoots pink arrows? We know all about it. Er Go on. Go on, your boy. It's gonna be an eye 
an eye for an eye. Frontier justice. And I realized that I was doing it all for what they wanted to see, you know? Yeah, well... Uh, and I caught myself doing hey. that. That's that. That sounds good. Who's playing that? That's probably Danny. He's good like that. Definitely not one of the kids. <laughs> What's going on? Where's your cello? I, I didn't have time. I had to use this. We are in deep trouble. What, did they find about us meeting? No, 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 no. They, they found one of Tiffany's arrows in Vern. It killed her. Oh. I'll, I'll say it was me. They'll, they'll just yell. They won't, they won't do anything. No, no, it wasn't yours. Mine had much more power. It went much further. It had to have been mine. I'll, I'll just tell them. No, they will kill you. Bubba said it would be an eye for an eye. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care what happens, as long as you're safe. Not if it means you get hurt. <laughs> Sir, and we need to start. We just need to be prepared. I'm so sorry about what happened to you and Avery. But I mean, isn't it great that we found Skylar? Well, that's my point. That gang had motorcycles, which makes us vulnerable. Listen, we're so far out here. Nobody's gonna come all the way here. It, it's guns can be heard. They make noise. People hear, and they want what we have. You need to learn how to hunt. With this. It's fast, it's quiet. You're a great shot, but winter's also coming. I've never even shot, I, I've never shot anything. I'm not. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. We are all forced to do things that we don't want to do. I mean, do you think I want to be carrying this heavy rifle across my shoulder all day long? Or to be going to the lake several times a day carrying heavy buckets of water. This is survival mode. And you are a great shot. I've talked to Avery and Sophie. They've gotten to be good hunters. They can teach you. I mean, I guess, I guess if I cooked the meat, somebody had to have shot it. <laughs> Can you tell him that Ling has been waiting for him at the farmhouse? He wants to leave for town before dark. Thanks. We got so much great stuff. <laughs> Look what I got! I will take that. Oh, okay. okay. <gasps> oh, great. Whoa. That's great. We need this. You must have been prepared for any emergency. Must have left it in the car. Yeah, good for us, bad for them. Find there's keepers. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this list. So, I promised them six motor bikes. And I think these will be the best for what they need. I told Nora and Phil that we would bring a couple that Link has reconfigured. So, who wants a road trip? <gasps> Are you kidding? We're dying to get out of this place. What do we do, draw straws? I will literally carry one if that's what it takes. Oh, please pick me. Okay, good. Safety in numbers. Drew, you and Leah stay on point. We'll leave in two. <gasps> I'm so happy. We're gonna get out of here. Yes. So this one oh, and this yeah. three. On, We're go. going to bring them up separately. Those ones are a little low on gas. We're gonna need a second so. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, open up a muffin store, and it's like, top of the muffin. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what they're doing in practice? Freeze! Get your hands up! Put it on the ground! Now! Cover the other team, Jerry. Keep your hands high. All right, bring your right arm behind you. Give me your weapons. She doesn't have any guns. Pretty foolish walking these woods without one. She's got a bow. Yeah, so do you. So what? What about pink arrows? Does it look like a pink bow to you? Yeah, it's about the arrows. Turn around. You don't strike me as a pink arrow type. I was let your bow. You mocking me? You're the one who wanted pink arrows. Who are you people? What do you want? You're coming with us. Where? You get a fair trial. If Bob is in a good mood. Back where? Where are you taking us? Keep quiet. That's not bad. You add that bread and you can almost call it a meal. That's all I get after all that work? Almost? Wasn't that bad. Link, what do you think? Oh, great. House cooking seal of approval. <laughs> like I said, it's missing bread. Sit down. Caleb, what's wrong? Caleb. They took the girls. What? Two men. They took Tiffany and Sophie and Avery. It's just like that night with Mom. All right, all right. Caleb, all right. Caleb, right. can you tell us where, which way did they go? It, it, it was at the halfway point headed that way. Okay. So, 10 minutes away. We need to leave now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Her. You should go help them. I'm not gonna leave you alone. But what about the Buchanans? You're right, they're not safe. But no, I mean, like, I can stay with them and you go help Nora. All right, come on. Quiet. Keep an eye on that one. We've got a mouth on her. Faraday cage will shut her up. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need a plan. I need to get reinforcements. We have no idea what we're expecting. Molly and I are going to head this way. Right. Stay safe. You too, Phil. Uh, sorry to bother you, but everyone's gone. That's it. It's too dangerous since the girls were taken. What do you mean, taken? There were two men with guns, and they made them lock behind them and tied up. Come on, son, let's go help. Hey, man, what's going on? The girls have been taken. Kidnapped. What girls? By who? I, I don't know. That's what we're looking for them right now. Where'd they go? Caleb said they were going that direction, OK? I, I don't have any time. I got to go gather everyone right now. Laura, look. The Buchanan flag. It's definitely the brick home we need. Molly. Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so Go. glad to... Playtime's over. The girls have been kidnapped. I think I know where they are. What can we do to help? No, you stay right here, all right? Guard the house because they got traps everywhere. I'm gonna give you a pistol because that'll be better range than that thing. Not the way she uses it. All right, come on. Girls, come with me. People don't need a reason. They wanted Tiffany's pink arrows. Yeah. Maybe they've never seen any other color besides green before. 
It's okay. We we drop the Buchanan's flags. We they'll find us. Here's some water. You must be thirsty. Why are they doing this? We haven't done anything. Yeah, unless pink arrows are against the law. What law? What are you planning to do with those girls? Papa, this isn't like you. What is going on? Carol, we know one of them killed Vern. We just need to figure out which one. And how do you plan to do that? The blonde one had a quiver with pink arrows. But you said the other one was carrying the bow. That's why we need you to get in there and get close to him. What makes you think they'll talk to us? Tell them we do the same thing to you when you don't do what we say. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna say that. He's got a point. If you go in there and talk to him, they'll trust you. If you're in their camp, you can do it. Okay. It'll work. I didn't agree to this. I don't mind keeping it quiet, but not if it means what you're doing now. I need answers. How did this happen? We've gone over this. You just have to accept it. No. No. I don't. I won't. Hey, boy. What are you playing? I want a confession. And I want the one who shot that arrow to pay. Please, let us out. Can't you see that she's upset? This is not helping us. We can't help you. This is what they do to us when we go against them. What are they gonna do with us? Please, just, just tell us what all this is about. Are, are you Tiffany McMillan? Shop poor, eat rich, right? Oh my God. I love your show. Carol, have you ever seen her show? I'm used to watching. She was killed. That's what I call a segue. <laughs> it was the last show she was watching before the hit. Before all of this. Carol! I better go before. I just can't take it anymore. You heard him. Let's go. We're going. We're going. What was that all about? What'd you say that for? What's, what's going sorry, on here? I'm sorry, but Jerry's coming unhinged, and we're afraid he's uh, going to hurt someone. Yeah. So, look, I don't think any of those girls did it. I mean, look yeah. at them. No, no, I get it. We need to get their trust. I mean, they might know who shot the arrow, and if we can get them to tell us what happened. Yeah. Here, follow my lead. Oh, shining door, I hear you calling. I was hoping it would come. Everyone is on high alert. What's going on? Are you under attack too? No, they've found three of your girls in the woods and have taken them hostage. What for? What do they want in return? The one who killed Vern. One of them had the bow on and another was carrying the pink arrows. I should tell them it was me. No. This can only escalate. I need to tell them no, the truth. No, I'm not gonna let you do that. They're safe for now, as long as they can't pin it on one. Follow me and stay close. Come on. Bring your people this way. There aren't any traps. I've gotta get back. Tell your people to be careful, stay down, and don't try and take our group. We have at least 30 loaded for it. My daughter-in-law, Vern, was killed by one of your pink arrows. Her husband, Jerry, my son, is out for an eye for an eye. Okay, what does that mean exactly? We're afraid that they're gonna do 
worse to you than what they do to us. We want to help you, but you... Just tell us who shot the arrow, and, and we can figure out the next step. Looks like your son has already figured that out when he said an eye for an eye. <laughs> Arrows, the bow. It's Tiffany's. Okay, pink is her color. Of course, I, sh I should have put that together. I mean, the pink apron. Yeah, but she hasn't shot it since my sister gave it to her. And that was a couple weeks ago. Well, I mean, she hasn't been out of the kitchen and been with her the whole time. <laughs> Tiffany is not a killer. She's quite the opposite. It, someone <laughs> must have shot it. And, and they're gonna figure out who did it. Is there, is there some other explanation? No. Hey, hey. She's with us. Let's call. Hey, looks the girls in the Faraday cage. Well, what, what's a Faraday cage? What are you talking Our about? Our jail, okay? I think they're safe for now, but... I'll meet Jason halfway and tell him what's going on. Who are you? I better get back. I'll, I'll explain later, man. I am really worried about him. I don't want Jerry doing something stupid. He's talking about killing those girls. I don't want anything to do with anything like that. They do that cooking show that Vern used to watch. They tell you that? No. Holly was a big fan. She recognized one of them. So she's got value, like a star or something. <laughs> we could threaten her. Phil, where have you been? I told Skylar to guard the house. That's what took me so long. Skylar's back? This is my fault. I caused this. I need to tell them or someone's gonna get hurt. What are you talking about? One of their people was killed with a pink arrow. Oh my gosh. I told her to do this. To kill someone? I told her to go hunting. She couldn't have gone. I just fixed the bow again. They were just heading out. No, I told her Nora. to. Nora. Phil, I assisted. Nora. Get a grip. And we all need to focus. I need to meet Brianna at the halfway point. Who's Brianna? I'll explain later. I got this. I'm tired of waiting. One of you did it. Now? Mm. One of you's gonna pay. You. No. I did it. Whatever it is you think she did, I did it. it suits me just fine. As far as I'm concerned, both of you did it. Tiff, I'll be right back, okay? Let's go. Watch out for her. Oh, come on, boy! The flagpole is nothing sacred. How about life? Is that sacred? We didn't do anything! You keep saying an eye for an eye. What's the eye? It's not what, it's who. My wife. And one of your people killed her with one of them pink arrows. No, barely even shot that bow. We all know you're guilty. We found the they evidence. They were going hunting. Hey, maybe you should check your own people. Ask them. One of you killed my wife. You took her from me. And I say, if you don't start talking now, I get my justice, starting with you. I swear. Get this her right now. Boy, you've gone too far. We don't want none of this. What are you going to do? You can't keep escalating and escalating. Come on. How many?
Can I ask you a question? No. How is doing any of this gonna help you? You'll find out later. Really? What's the point of all this, though? Shut You're taking your innocent people. And find out later. Jerry just tied Sophie to the. See, I need to confess. It was my arrow that killed her. Not so quick, son. Let's keep our heads. You go find out what their plans are. We need to make plans of our own. How many of them are there? What's the plan? They need more for an attack. I'll try and get you weapons. What's gonna happen to us? I'll be right back. Just don't make him mad. You need to get that to Molly. Hey, get that to Molly now. What's this? She said you'll know. Sandy what's happened. Give her this list. Hurry, please. Go. I wish we had electricity. We wouldn't be doing this. up to the ridge. They need help. Is this all of you? Yeah. Phil told us to stay and guard the house. Listen, the house will be fine, all right? They need help at the ridge. Shouldn't we tell someone so they no, don't worry? we don't have to worry about that. We need to get going. All right, you heard him. Let's move. It's time to go. It's not time to go. Phil, we need to do no, it now. No, we have a perimeter. They will get We them. have a perimeter this down there. This is the time to go after them now. I'm doing this for No, no, we can't. Phil, we're going now. They didn't kill Vern. How do you know that? If 
Jerry tell you? No, I was there when the arrow was shot. These girls are innocent. We have to let them go. Where'd you get it? I mean, no one here has pink arrows, and I'm the only one with the bow. I found the arrow in the woods. Don't nobody move. No one gets hurt. Bubba. Get down. Move that way. Get guns down now. Bubba, be okay. Move, move. Stay safe. Your weapon. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Okay, stay out of my way. Duck down. She's my Look, sister. Carol. You don't want to get here. Down! You hurt. No, I'm fine. I'm gonna go get Tiffany. Madness, who is responsible for this? They are. Really? All three of you. Up. That one, too. Get up. Weapons. Get up. Get up. Get up. Move. Forward, what move. Do, Bubba? Move Nothing. faster. Come on, get a move. move on. We'll make it easy. Figure yourself. Hey. Where's that famous Faraday cage at, huh? Move! They aren't bad people. I'll talk to my son. Some trouble with Jerry. She's gonna need backup. All right, you got this. I believe I uh, heard this referred as frontier justice. Cover me while I lock him up. Sorry, Bubba. Carol said so. Kidnapped our people when it was one of yours that caused us. Go ahead. Tell them what you told me. I deserve to be in here with them. I knew the truth and I hid it. I didn't know Brianna blamed herself and the young man who taught her to shoot. Burn was killed. And she did it to herself. Why didn't you just tell us, boy? You put us through all this. Those girls could have been hurt. And you let Brianna think she killed Vern. Just found out about Brianna. I just didn't know. Jerry pulled the arrow out before he brought her in. When I examined the wound, it was obvious the arrow came in from an upward angle. It was self-inflicted, no question about it. I promised Jerry I'd be quiet about it. He blamed himself for her, for her depression. This is as much my fault as it is his. I deserve to be right here. Can't argue with logic. You boys owe these girls an apology. Faraday cage, huh? It's more like a jail to me. 